Hi, my name is Benjamin Faust. In my economics courses that I teach, I get a lot of confusion between diminishing marginal utility and the law of diminishing returns. So I want to kind of go over each of them real quick and then tell you the, the easy way to tell the difference. Diminishing marginal utility, I like to use the example of donuts. Now utility is satisfaction or usefulness you get from consuming a product or from using a product, something like that. Um, and it has to do, diminishing marginal utility has to do with consumer preference. I like donuts, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I do like donuts. Try not to eat them too much because it kind of makes me a little crazy because uh, I go overboard. But uh, let's talk about me getting a dozen donuts. And so I get a dozen donuts and I eat the first one. I'm starving. How good is that donut? It is really good. Then I have a second donut. How good is that donut? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I have a third donut. How good is that donut? Uh, it's okay. And I have a fourth donut. It was all right. I have a fifth donut. It was only slightly good. And I anticipate I'm going to get sick on the sixth donut. And so I stop. That is diminishing marginal utility. It means that for every additional unit you are consuming as a consumer, having preference, you're getting slightly less joy out of the next one than you did the one before it. Now contrast that with law of diminishing returns. Law of diminishing returns has to do with an investment return. We can use a country example and a business example. Let's do the country example first. Suppose I take one light bulb and I string it with electric wire and I connect it to a stand and I get a battery that's gonna last a long time and I decide to take that to one of two countries. I could either take it to Japan or I could take it to Ghana. Which country do you think my light bulb with battery and uh, holder is going to be more effective in. If you said Ghana, you're correct. Uh, Ghana is far less wealthy than Japan, and if you take, for example, a village that has no electricity at all, adding one light bulb means a lot. That means you can gather together, and without using precious fuel for firewood uh, to make a fire at night, you can stay up into the night and produce more. You can prepare the next day's meals, you can make clothing, you can make additional items to trade. Many different possibilities, all from adding one light bulb. Contrast that with adding an additional light bulb to Japan. Perhaps somebody in a backwater village of Japan could get a light bulb, a student perhaps, and perhaps they'll get on average uh, one point higher on an economics quiz, which will adjust their grade by 0.05% for the semester. Well, that's not a very good return on that light bulb compared to how it was in the village with no electricity. This is the law of diminishing returns in regards to uh, a country. A law of diminishing returns, if you're thinking about a business, let's use a pizza shop. Suppose I have a pizza shop, I have myself and a couple workers, and we're deciding how many machines to buy, how many pizza ovens to buy. Pizza oven, we purchase the first one, and we use it all the time every day for every pizza we sell. We purchase a second one, and we only use it in the evenings when there's the dinner rush and people are ordering a lot of pizzas. I purchase a third pizza oven. We only use it on football days and holidays and special events. And then I purchase a fourth one, and we're only using it on Halloween and New Year's, only very big holidays where a lot of pizza is consumed. That is the law of diminishing returns. You have a situation where the more capital you add, uh, then the, each, each additional unit of capital you add is less effective or brings you less additional return than before. You can also do the same thing with labor. Let's say I have a fixed amount of pizza ovens, but I decide to hire one worker and it boosts my productivity a lot. I hire a second one, it boosts still, but not as much as before. The third one, only a small gain, and the fourth one gets in the way and actually we're bumping elbows. And so, as you see, each additional unit, whether it is of labor or capital that I add, has less of a return than before. Again, the biggest difference, this is a consumer preference. If you're talking diminishing marginal utility, it's consumer preference. And law of diminishing returns is about investment return.